guys, welcome back! And if you're new to the channel, then a special welcome for you! So this week I want to talk to you guys about something that's really important that we tend to either not know or just really forget over time. And that thing is that God is a lot stronger and wiser than we may give him credit for. In other words, God is a big boy. I've noticed that when we're feeling frustrated or angry or disappointed, it is so easy for us to give God the silent treatment, right? We're either mad at Him for allowing it to happen or mad at Him for putting us in that situation or mad at Him because we just generally don't understand what's going on and we just do that to Him. We push Him away. And I feel like I really get that because when I'm angry at someone, I have the tendency to, you know, distance myself from that person so I can cool off, you know, and like and collect myself and now I'm learning to get back into that place with that person where I can be like okay let's talk about my feelings why I feel this way and what the root of the problem is so I can get over that issue with the person and we can like build from that and have a better relationship from it so learning how to talk about my feelings and bring it all to that person and talking about it is hard, but it's so important having a healthy relationship. In any relationships, you guys, with other people, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not going to improve, it's not going to get better if we're not bringing up our feelings and learning to talk about the conflicts that we're having and how to get better and move forward together with that person. And it is sort of the same with God, except God is Lord, so He can handle your outbursts, your angry outbursts. He can handle your doubts on whether He is a good and a faithful God and whether He is in control in your life. And that's because God is well aware of who He is, even if you don't. So please, don't shut Him out. If your heart is broken, bring God the pieces. If you're sinking, tell Him. Yell it at Him. Just speak. And you guys know that I like metaphors, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one, okay? It's a lot like a water bottle. You need to open the mouthpiece if you want to dump what's in out, or if you want to pour something in. The same as with God and you. You need to open your mouth so you can pour everything that's in there out, or your anger, frustration, everything that you're feeling. And so God can also pour himself into you. You can't do it if your mouth is shut. You need to open it first. I'm speaking from personal experience here, you guys. I'm only passing on what I know. Tell God everything. Everything that you feel, bring it to Him. He will hear you. He will soothe your heart. He will give you peace. And He will bring you back. If you felt disconnected or far away from Him, this is intimacy. This is a moment of you being close to Him again. You will feel Him drawing you back close to him. So I want to leave you guys with a few verses for you to remember and it's in 1 Peter 5 7 and it says cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Later in Jeremiah 29 12 it says then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. And lastly in Philippians and Philippians and Philippians 4 7 sorry and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus pour it all on me cast all of your anxiety your doubts everything you have cast it all on me I can handle it I care for you then you will call and I will listen I will hear you and everything you have to say and I will give you peace and the peace will guard your heart and your mind as you go forward so remember those verses. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Leave your thumbs up down below so I know you guys enjoyed it. And I want to say thank you so much to all of you who are part of this experience with me. I was checking the other day and we're almost 3,000 strong. Our family keeps growing and it is blowing my mind. And I just want to thank you guys all for being a part of this experience and growing with me. And um, yeah, handling my craziness and weirdness. So thanks guys. Also, if you haven't already noticed, we have a new Facebook page for the channel. So that's where I'm going to be now, posting any and all updates, contests, prizes, uh, upcoming videos, sneak peeks, 
any big projects everything is going to be on that page so make sure you guys are following it and you can see it by clicking on the banner there's the icon up there and also on the description box there will be a link to um to the Facebook page and also there will be a big announcement there in case you guys haven't already seen it um, I'm working with Awana Youth Ministry on a film series and I can't tell you all about it yet I will but that will be in future videos and if you want to hear a bit more about that and what the heck I'm talking about then make sure you do check out the Facebook uh, to make sure you guys do check out the Facebook page because I talk a bit about it there so that's all I have for you guys today. Also, make sure you leave your comments down below. I love hearing them, I love listening to them. So make sure you guys leave your thoughts here and your questions and requests and whatever you have in your beautiful little heart. And I will see you guys next, next time. Oh, and if you, wait, I think I said it right. If you guys are new to the channel, then you're more than welcome to sign up. I am not forgetting about you. You guys are awesome. So make sure you stick around if you desire to. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.